Listen, I bought this dress last Christmas. It is not a dress anymore. <laughs> it is. I'm it. Hey! Welcome to uh, Chanel's Reality. Let me stop playing that before I, you know, I ain't trying to catch no lawsuit or nothing. But as I was saying, this dress is now a shirt. <laughs> Gained weight, I sure did. But you know what? We just gonna rock it anyway. We gonna rock it like we ain't gained one pound, okay? Okay. So welcome to Chanel's reality. I'm Chanel, and this is my reality. All right, guys. Tonight we're gonna discuss Child Anne Marie Wiley. Do y'all happen to know who this lady is? Anne Marie, come to the front, sis. Come to the front. Here's the thing with Anne Marie. Should I put on some lip gloss? I probably need a little lip gloss. Hold on. Let's see. Let me put on a little bit of lip gloss. For the people. People's champ around here, okay? I'm the whole people's champ, okay? Listen, I cannot, I don't have nothing to do with. Why my boobs have decided that they wanted to grow? I, I don't understand. I, I I don't I don't get it. I'm trying to keep them. Up. Listen, it's not my fault. I gained weight and here we are. Child, listen. Anyway, so we're gonna discuss. This is not gonna be a long video at all. But I want to discuss Emory. Emory, girl, come to the front, sis. Come to the front, girl. I have been defending you in these streets and you just keep. Okay, sorry y'all, I apologize. I apologize. <laughs> I apologize. Um, I keep trying to defend you in these streets and you won't let me be great. Like, listen, cause I've said over and over again, I've said, you know, I feel like Bravo should have given her a different, another season uh, for a few reasons. And hear me out, hear me out. Um, oh, and by the way, Thank you guys for tuning in to another episode of Chanel's Reality. I'm Chanel, and this is my reality. Um, if you are new here, welcome. Thank you so much. Hit that like button, subscribe button. I would love to have you as one of my subscribers, one of my Chanel's Reality subscribers. And if you are part of the replay crew, replay crew, please hit the like button. Share my videos. Please subscribe. And then also, too, if you are returning, you know I love you. Much love. Share the, share the wisdom of Chanel's Reality. Okay. Um, and thank you guys for being here. So again, like I was saying, sh we're going to talk about Anne Marie Wiley because like I said, Anne Marie, girl, I was out here in these streets trying to defend you saying like, you know, you didn't get a fair shake at it and Bravo should have um, told your whole story because I think this esophagus, esophagus gate thing, I think, listen, you let Kyle Richards use you. If I'm being very honest, I would love for you to come on my show and tell me otherwise. I am here for it. But listen, I'm just going to give it to you real because that's what I do. This is my reality according to what I've seen on Bravo. And what I've seen on Bravo is you get used by Kyle and don't feel bad. She's used many people. I notice you keep saying things around here about because, OK, let me start over. I do feel like she didn't get a fair shake because her real life, according to Anne Marie, when I think she appeared on like E! News or something, uh, she was being interviewed and um, she was talking about like how she was adopted and who her birth parents were. She's trying to find them and she looked, I think she reached out to someone. Someone got in contact with her and basically was like, do not reach out again, which is heartbreaking. I've worked in child welfare, so I get it um, on more ways than one. Um, I'm connected to her in that way. Um... For many reasons. But anyways. So and then she. Uh, she said she was filming. Whenever you know her mom was ill. And subsequently passed. It's horrible. It's horrible. I, listen. I know what that feels like. Um, I buried a mom of cancer. Like it's terrible. I have an aunt right now who has cancer. I have a friend who's just a few years older than me. Who has cancer. And a treacherous boss. I'm like. Who? What type of evil is it that. You know, you're going to be mean to the lady with cancer. Who does that? But clearly her boss. Um, but here's the thing, Anne-Marie. I've tried to speak to you through the 
YouTube as a content creator over here on Chanel's Reality. And I've said to you repeatedly, you're playing for the wrong team. You got used by Kyra Richards. And I know that you know it. Because when I watched uh, the Carlos King interview that you did, you were over there basically trying to get Carlos to say it was Kyle Richards. Which, you know, Carlos claims he loves all the girls. He doesn't. He doesn't. Carlos loves money. Be clear. His background, his background is full of all his um, red bottom shoes and his Givenchy and all of that, honey. It is, just be clear. He's about, Carlos is, is Hollywood, if that makes sense. Not in the way that he probably interprets it, but in the way I interpret it is, it's not about racism. It's about the only color that the music industry or the entertainment industry cares about is green. Yes, they have all the isms and all the racisms and all the isms and everything else. They do. It's 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 a savage industry, girl. You had to know that going in. But I do think on some level, Anne-Marie Wiley believes she's above the fray. She believes her own hype. Even though I, I think she still deserved a second season, she does. She believes her own hype. And it's evident. And this is the thing, Anne-Marie. Girl, if you're listening to this, come to the front. I promise you. Come on, Chanel's Reality. We'll have a fair, I'll give you a fair shake of it, but I'm still going to keep it honest and I'm going to keep it real. And here's the thing. The reason that, although I think they should have gave you, gave you a second season, the reason I'm glad they did it is for what you're doing right now. And what you're doing right now is I'm pissed because the world thinks I'm something I'm not and I need to set the record straight. This is the thing. I would have believed you, but what you're doing right now is proving Bravo's point for why you would not have made a good housewife. Maybe, I don't know, maybe for entertainment purposes, you maybe would have made a good housewife. But the reason I wouldn't have wanted you for a housewife is because what you would have done is what Kyle wanted you to do. Part one of what Kyle wanted you to do is she wanted you to make everybody think Sutton Strack is a liar and she's lying about her esophagus and that she has an eating disorder. That was part one of your mission, okay? Part two of your mission was take down Garcelle. Remember this. Garcelle's first reunion, if I recall correctly, uh, Kyle Richards was like, you raised your paddle for Children's Hospital or whatever the, the um, uh, charity or foundation was for. And you said you were going to pay $5,000 and you didn't pay. And da, 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 da. That was Kyle's way. I don't care what nobody says. I think Kyle is, there's an ism somewhere in her, in my opinion. Um, her and Dorit on some level. But I think it's like she said, like Garcelle, called, she clocked it. She said unconscious Karen. But I think Dorit's is actually unconscious. And I think that Kyle's is very conscious. I think Kyle's is very conscious for many reasons. First season, you didn't clock your sister, got rid of her on some level, just sold her up the river in my opinion you sold your other sister kathy up the river even though kathy's a little shaky love you kathy girl you can come on my show um now she didn't sold the who's allegedly her bestie or sister for however many years up the river sold denise richards up the river you were mad that Dorit wouldn't be honest for a whole season about whatever Brandy told you, even though you said for however many years Brandy was on, Brandy's a liar. She can't be trusted. She's low class. She's all these things, right? But suddenly she's an angel and she is a truth teller. I ain't saying she's telling the truth or not. I'm just saying, why all of a sudden do we believe her? It's a setup, and Kyle. We see it, girl. We see exactly who you are. You're shady. Let's just call it being a thing. She's shady as hell. The shadiest of them all. The emperor has no foes. And this season, she made sure. Well, she gave Anne-Marie her, you know, her instructions. Anne-Marie flopped it, unfortunately. But Kyle still survived it, as she does. Because she sends people on their missions. And I I know for certain that Kim uh, Richards, her sister, all, always knew this about Kyle. She tried to tell us. We weren't trying to hear it. Because Kyle has this great family and great husband. It seems like she's a great wife and mom. So we wouldn't listen, right? Your second part that you didn't get to do, which was if you would have got a second season, you would have tried to execute, which is go after Garcelle. That's what you're doing now. That's what you kind of try to do at the reunion. And I guess the reunion people weren't really here for it. So I didn't play much of it. But you trying to say, you know, Garcelle needed to come save you. It's crazy. Garcelle don't need to save anyone, including Sutton. She said, she said it. She's like, I think maybe this season 
I don't have to, you know, whatever. But here's the thing. The difference that you were trying to make about, try to make it about the race thing and, you know, Dorit had your back, this, that, and the third. Girl, the thing is, the reason that Garcelle has Sutton's back has nothing to do with Sutton being white. Or yelling at you and saying you were yelling at her when you weren't. You were right about that part. Absolutely. And you should be able to say, hey, I wasn't yelling at you, so stop it. Stop trying to paint me into the whatever black. I get it. We're 100%. But why are you throwing Garcelle under the bus? Garcelle didn't yell at you. She didn't do anything to you. Why are you doing that? Why? It's not necessary. And here's the thing. You trying to make this comparison about how Dorit got your back and you got Sutton's back or Garcelle got Sutton's back and this, that, and the third. Sutton and Garcelle are friends. You haven't gone, gotten that. Y'all haven't had enough time, in my opinion, to for her to put you in that category, for her to really just get your back like that. Because remember, even when she was on um, in wherever they were, in Europe somewhere, trying to help defend Denise. Even then, she was like, Denise, tell them. Like, she didn't want to be the person to do it. That's just not, from what we get from the TV, that's just not Garcelle. If she needs to, she will She will say something. But she's even been honest when they asked her about Sutton. Can Sutton make things about herself, Garcelle? Mm, yeah, sometimes. That's what Garcelle did. She was honest. And we like her. And this is the thing. You're making yourself, even though you don't realize it, even more unlikable. I have no problem with you coming out and telling your truth and saying, listen, I didn't get a fair shake of it. These people didn't treat me right. I wish they would have treated me differently. Whatever. That I don't have a problem with. But this, I want to show everybody how Garcelle is the bad guy. It's just, it's not, you're not going to win that fight. We like Garcelle. She seems very likable and authentic. We know Sutton is Sutton. <laughs> we all know that. But Sutton, it, even with all of her issues she's still likable she is you have made yourself unlikable and you're still doing it and i just want you to stop but i'm glad you didn't come back on the show because your story would have been how do i get rid of garcelle how do i show the world garcelle's this inauthentic person who doesn't like me and it's like you didn't need to do that you didn't what you should have done is bowed out with grace you should have said you know i what you did on e that was perfect you should have left it at that. And if you were going to go on a campaign, that should have been your campaign. But Carlos King sniffed you out a million miles away. He did. He was like, oh, yeah, I got to get her on the show. Because she's itching to tell her truth or to tell what she feels. And this is the thing. If you are this person who has all these famous people around you all the time and whatever else, those people are probably going to start falling off the boat. So I'm happy for you that you decided or they, they fired you. Only because I'm sure those people are important to you and that life. And that appearance of whatever the life is that you say you have is 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 good for you. And you like that and you want to keep it. And the way to keep it is to get off the show. So be grateful that they did not bring you back. That being said, I wanted to just talk really quickly. She, uh, Anne Marie Wiley posted on her social media. She said, morning. No, she said, more 10 a.m. coffee. I see laugh out loud emoji or whatever and she puts please go ride your horse and find your drama elsewhere and then she hashtag you know she does this hashtag rhob and she writes or she posts this thing where it says the hypocrisy of this woman i think this is sudden saying this yes yeah, sudden writes on her social media i think on instagram the hypocrisy of this woman is starting to wear at me Great friends, then to turn to then to turn so severely weeks later on a different podcast, ma'am. And then there's this post from someone named Natalie Mac84 says, let me just leave this right here. Just one month ago, she was wrestling, I'm sorry, whistling a different tune regarding Garcelle. Anne Marie. There was a picture of Anne Marie. I'll show you guys in a second. It says, OMG. She's drinking coffee at 10 a.m. again. This is Anne Marie response to a sudden um, juicy scoop. Oh, I, can't, I guess she went on juicy scoop. Okay. Uh, was taped before the reunion and before Garcelle's statements were mysteriously all over the defamatory article about me, Carlos King, blah, blah, blah. So this is what this is. You can guys can go and see it for yourselves, but and you can pause it or whatever. 
but this is what's written. Sudden is the top and then um, Anne-Marie is the bottom. And it's just messy. She says, Juicy Scoop was taped before the reunion and before Garcelle's statements were mi mysteriously, in quotations, all over the defamatory article about me. Carlos King was taped after Garcelle started shady, started acting shady towards me. Please go ride away on your horse. That's what, um, like I said, snap it if you want. That's what Mrs. Um, Anne Marie Wiley wrote. And when she's talking about the uh, coffee and everything, she's basically winking at, you know, Dorit acting like Dorit and, and Kyle were really, to me, more Kyle, but Dorit's part of it because she said it. It's dangerous to say things like that on TV. And you know that it is. So it's just why like I have no respect for Kyle. Zero. Dorit maybe could come back. I don't know. Um, but it's just, Dorit, it's hard for me because I don't believe she's racist. I don't, but I think she just is woefully ignorant intentionally on purpose on accident. It's frustrating, Dorit, because I want you to win, girl, but you just keep doing that. It's like, I can't, I can't, I can't ride for you. I want Dorit that was on that boat <laughs> going at Erica that was just like, girl, I don't want, I don't, I'm not dying for your attention. You're not, you're not that interesting. You're cold as ice. Yeah, listen. She went in and I was here for it. I don't know where that Dorit went. Well, let me take that back. I do know. That Dorit went away when when they all signed their lives over to the devil. I shouldn't say that. That's not nice. Okay, I'll take that back. But they signed their lives over to Lisa Renna. And the rest is history. Lisa Renna and Kyle. Kyle sacrificed her own second sister. I just, I don't get it. But anyways. And Marie, girl, this is not a good look. It, it looks very... Not only does it look thirsty, it just looks like you cannot move on. You can't. And I don't know why. I get it. Your feelings are hurt. That's the only thing that I can, rec I do understand. Your feelings are hurt. You got fired. You were humiliated in front of the world. And that's why I just want you to go away. And if you're not going to go away, this isn't the way to do it. I get it. Your feelings are hurt. These people have, they have a much bigger microphone than you. And you feel like you have a microphone because you were on the show and you have gotten, I'm sure, somebody who likes you out there. I don't dislike you. I dislike this behavior though. I do. You got to stop. It has to stop because it's only looking like I am a bitter ex-girlfriend who got dumped and no one cares. That's what it's giving it's it's giving that and it didn't help you on on carlos king and he tried his best he he didn't help you because like i said carlos is is married to the money he is not married to the the housewives he is like oh i love all the girls no he doesn't he's lying he loves money and let's be clear about it that's what it is at me if you bought that life carlos king what what did uh Car what did claudia jordan say buy your lawsuit if you bought that life <laughs> listen i can never die i got a lit spirit that's what that lady bear said, and I'm here for it. Anne Marie, get off the internet. Especially because, listen, listen, your husband is under fire, and people are being relentless about this man. I don't know if he did or didn't, but I am always on the side of victims. Maybe he did something to these people back in the day, and if he did, then he's a heartless asshole, and he deserves to be under the jail, if what they're saying is true and accurate. Because I'm always on the side of victims regardless. You have to prove that the victim's lying. That's where I'm, yep, that's how I roll. And I ain't changing it. It's not changing over here on Chanel's reality. Be very clear about that, okay? I want to believe, even though the statistics say otherwise. I want to believe that your husband did probably did some egregious things to these people. He deserves to go to jail if that is the case. Under the jail. If he did that, I, I hope he can apologize and make, I still think, if he did it, he should go to jail. I, it's hard for me to get around it because I want your fairy tale to be true for you. I do. But I just believe victims. So I feel bad for his children and his, and you, his wife. That's why I need you to shut the hell up and go away, girl. You making it, you have a microphone and you need to sit down and be quiet. For real, for real. Especially with these allegations about your husband. Unless they can prove that he is telling the truth and these people are lying. And I'm never going to believe they're lying. 
unless someone can prove that what these people are saying is false. So, it is what it is. Chime down in the comments. Let me know what you think about Anne Marie. What do you think about her remarks? Everything she's doing and saying. Do you think it's helping her? So I don't. Let me know if uh, you think what what I'm saying is true about her regarding Kyle Richards and Kyle just used her and still is using her. She's still carrying out Kyle's bidding, even though she knows she's been used. I know that she knows this because she said it on multiple. She indirectly is trying to say it. And if you're going to shoot shots at Garcelle, you may as well shoot them at the person that gave you the gun. I'm just saying. She gave you the gun and all the bullets. And unfortunately, it's backfiring on you, girl. And you don't even see it. Like, please just recognize that you're being used still. I get it. People are calling you and saying interview and ugh, it's bad. Unless you can change the narrative. The narrative that you had at E is the one you should stick with. Because that is... I am this other human being and I have this beautiful life and there are some things in my past that are very tragic and I'm traumatized by it. And that's the story that would work. I'm not a fixer like Olivia Pope, but I promise you, you could fix this if you listen to me. <laughs> I'm just saying. Oh, Chanel's reality. Go through a, uh, what's her name? Miss Anne Marie. I actually still like you. I just want you to get off the internet. Okay. Do that for yourself. Anyway, like I said, guys, please chime down in the comments. Let me know what you think about this, uh, this whole situation. What do you think about my thoughts about it? What are your thoughts about it? Tell me if you like Anne Marie, if you think she should go away. If you think she's being used by Kyle. Uh, what do you think about the Carlos King interview? If you haven't, you should go over there and watch it. Carlos and Heavenly, Dr. Heavenly, they're a whole mess. And I don't even like Dr. Heavenly like that, but I like her off the show. She's so funny. Oh my God. Her and Carlos. It's all kiki. Anyway. Bye, guys. Thank you so much for being a part of Chanel's reality. I love you guys. Please like, subscribe, and hit that notification button. So when I go live, when I upload, you'll get notified for everything I do. Thank you so much. Have a good rest of your day. Bye.